President Barack Obama's North Korean envoy says Washington and Seoul continue to work on ways to deal with the communist North. In the wake of the deadly attack North Korea lobbed at the South in November, Stephen Bosworth is meeting with several high-ranking South Korean officials following signals from both Pyongyang and Seoul that peace talks are possible. On Wednesday, North Korea announced it wanted unconditional and early talks with the South to end the growing tension. I hope it also shows that the Korean people are very confident of the very strong relationship that exists between the mm -hmm. Republic of Korea and the United States. And That's right. That's are right. impressed by the, and reassured, mm -hmm. by the very close coordination of policy that we've been undertaking yeah. uh, over the last several months. Yeah. South Korea and the U.S. have agreed that stalled international disarmament talks should resume only after North Korea shows a willingness to make progress on abandoning its nuclear program. Bosworth arrived in Seoul Tuesday as part of a tour that also includes stops in Japan and China. While in China, Bosworth is expected to ask China for insights into last month's talks with North Korea. In recent months, China has come under growing pressure to push the North to change its behavior. South Korea has promised to retaliate against the North if provoked again, and the North has threatened war if its territory is violated. John Belmont, The Associated Press.